This coating removal procedure uses a controlled, low-temperature, localized heating method for removing thick coatings by overcuring or softening the coating. Soldering iron should not be used for coating removal, as their high operating temperatures will cause the coatings to char and possibly delaminate the printed board base material. The use of thinned down soldering iron tips or soldering iron heated cutting blades are not recommended since they do not provide controlled heating and may present dangerous sharp edges to the circuit board surface. To determine the appropriate coating removal procedure, the coating must first be identified. The minimum skill level needed to complete this procedure reliably is advanced. The conformance level reached when this procedure is completed properly is high. To complete this procedure, you will need the following tools and materials. Cleaning brushes. These disposable brushes are primarily used with solvents for cleaning. Knife. This is a must-have tool used for precise cutting, scraping, and trimming. Mixing picks. These unique mixing sticks have a paddle shape on one end for mixing and a sharpened pick on the opposite end for dispensing a small amount of epoxy. The procedure follows. Thermal parting method. Step 1. Select an appropriate thermal parting tip to suit the workpiece configuration. Set the nominal tip temperature using the manufacturer's recommended procedure. Step 2. Apply the thermal parting tip to the coating using a light pressure. The coating material will either soften or granulate. Polyurethanes will soften and epoxies will granulate. The tip temperature should be regulated to a point where it will effectively break down the coating without scorching or charring. Step 3. Gradually reduce the coating thickness around the component bodies without contacting the board surface. Clip leads of component that are known to be faulty, thus permitting removal of the component body separately from leads and solder joints. Low pressure air or a brush should be used to remove the loosened coating. Step 4. Once sufficient coating has been removed, leaving only a small bonded joint between the component body and printed circuit board, heat the component body with the thermal parting tool or hot air jet to weaken the bond beneath the component. Step 5. Lift the component body free from the printed circuit board using tweezers or pliers. Twist the component prior to removal to shear any remaining bond to the printed board surface. Once the component body has been removed from the board surface, the remaining coating material can be removed. The remaining leads and solder joints are then removed by appropriate solder extraction means. Hot air method. By control of the gas and air temperature, flow rates, and jet shape, the hot air method can be applied to almost any workpiece configuration on both the component and solder side of the printed circuit board without damage. Extremely delicate work can be handled in this manner while permitting direct observation of the heating action. Step 1. Set up the hot air tool per the manufacturer's instructions. Adjust flow rate and temperature to suit the specific coating removal application. Never set the gas and air temperature at a level that will cause scorching or charring of the coating material or reflow the solder connections. Step 2. Apply the heated air jet to work area. Apply light pressure using a wood stick or other non-marring tool to remove the softened or overcured coating. All coating around individual leads, solder joints, and component bodies can be removed in this manner. Step 3. When the coating has been removed, use the appropriate solder extraction method to remove components if needed. If you need further help and prefer to send your circuit boards out for repair or rework, contact Circuit Technology Center. If you wish to purchase the tools and materials needed to complete this procedure at your facility, contact Circuit Medic.